I am Hannah Connor, a 10th grader at YWA. Hi, my name is Anna Marzia. I'm 14 years old and I am student body secretary and I am a freshman here at Young Women's Student Academy. I am Bailey Kukula. I'm a 10th grader at Young Women's Academy. Uh, my name is Rebecca Guerrero. I am an English language arts facilitator at Young Women's Academy. I teach 9th and 10th grade English. Hello, uh, my name is Aaron Luna. I am the Young Women's Academy high school science teacher. I am Laura Pacheco. I am the head volleyball and softball coach and athletic coordinator at the Young Women's STEAM Academy. So firstly, how would you describe the school's social emotional environment and how has it helped you personally? So the school is very big on SEL, social emotional learning. And so in advisory, we do family circle and that has really helped me because I'm able to communicate my feelings and like other people, they under they'll understand you and so it's very nice. I feel like not many schools are like the Young Women's Academy because we have a strong culture where you're able to express yourself freely and allowed to really um, be entitled of your emotions. And I've gone through so much and I feel like having a social emotional environment at our school helps people like grow and become more confident. How are your friendships at YWA? The friendships here, they're actual like bonds and you feel like family. Would you say that it's much easier to make friends here rather than at other schools that you've been to? It's very easy to make friends here. Um, and honestly, you can just be yourself and no one will care. Uh, you're just a part of the family. Yes, I'm a military kid. So it's I go to a, diff a lot of different places. I move around a lot. And at other schools, usually, like, it was harder for me to make friends. But as I went into YWA, um, it took a little bit before I actually found a, I found a good pair of friends. And it just sort of started to get bigger the more I went at YWA. And I appreciate them. And I appreciate how YWA has such easy people to talk to and socialize with. How rigorous are the classes here? Do you find yourself struggling a lot? So when I say rigorous, I mean like in a good way. Like they're challenging and I do feel like I'm learning a lot. I feel like I'm growing, but also in a way where I keep myself motivated and I'm able to learn while grow and have a growth mindset at the same time. I struggle, yes, and it is rigorous, yes, but it's also tolerable and Whenever I struggle, I just go to my friends and my teachers and they're always there to help me out. Do you believe in the intellect of your students? Yeah, I, I absolutely believe in the intellect of my students. And I think one of the awesome things is that everyone has a different type of intelligence that we get to celebrate. So some students have emotional intelligence, artistic intelligence. We have musicians, we have uh, mathematicians and scientists and creative writers. So I think one of the beautiful things about being a teacher is being able to see all the different types of intelligence that your students bring to the table. Absolutely. I believe that our students have a unique and well-developed background that add to the flavor and the uniqueness of Young Women's Academy. Every day is different and every day is a new challenge and it's because they come already with that intellect and if they don't come with the knowledge, they come with the hunger to learn, which again contributes to their um, high intellect at Young Women's Academy. How would you describe the culture here? I think I would describe our culture as empowering and creative. So we have a girl-centered education, which means that our girls get to be leaders in everything. It's never a question of if they can do something. We know that they can, and they get to take charge in every situation. So I know that it's empowering for them and also just really creative because our girls are very funny and um, getting to kind of walk through the halls and see them working on projects and bringing all their humor and all their creativity is really, it's a great thing to see. So I think empowering and creative is a huge part of our culture. What do you do to make sure that your players are doing the best that they can? Uh, definitely building the relationships with them. Um, everybody has a bad day, a bad game. Um, and being able to bounce back from that and them understanding what they can do to improve um, if they are not on the right track. Uh, we definitely use a lot of film technology to, to pinpoint um, where their mistakes are so that they can make the necessary adjustments to succeed. 
Do you feel like your coaches here at YWA push you to perform the best that you can? Definitely. Our coaches really push us. And like when you like see the progress that you made from like day one to like the last day, um, it is so amazing. The coaches are really just, they push you and they want you to succeed on the court and off the court. So we have some pretty amazing coaches. How are the, the fine arts teachers and programs here? I feel like personally, since we are a STEAM school and we do have that art um, part in our program, I feel like our school is very present in like fine arts exhibits and concerts. And I feel like we get more opportunities here since we are a single gender school. And since we have such a strong yet growing fine arts program, it allows us to be more freely with our words and how we express ourselves through art. What advice would you give to an incoming YWA student? Well, something we talk about a lot here is having a growth mindset. So I think you have to be open to things being a little different than you might have encountered in the past. Um, be ready for a lot of collaboration that's going to help you grow. Um, in the real world, you have to collaborate with people all the time. And this is going to help you get comfortable with doing that. Even if it's a little out of your comfort zone, it's going to be something that's really going to expand your horizons and help you grow as a person. I would just tell them to be themselves because there is nothing wrong with who you are and and it, nobody should tell you otherwise. You can be yourself here and you will make friends and it's trust me it can be hard at the beginning you might think that you might not fit in but ywa is the place for you and you deserve the best the advice i would give is come in with an open mind and come in ready to learn and to challenge the status quo because this school is ready to adapt it's ready to evolve around our students um, I be really believe at this school, uh, the students are the ones driving the bus and the teachers are making sure, and the administration, uh, we're making sure that the bus is being driven uh, safely, but in the direction of where we're going, we leave that up to the students and we want them to understand that they have a lot of power and that we want them to feel encouraged uh, for that power. So come in ready to you know, break the mold and, and, and take over. Um, some advice that I'd give to an incoming YWA student is that take all the opportunities that are given to you and really push yourself to be a great student. Try to be the number one student. And honestly, just be a social butterfly. Try to talk to everyone. Be yourself. And just have a good time. Try to have a good time. Try everything um, that you possibly can and be open-minded. There's a lot of uh, opportunity here um, and it's up to you to take it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to take the opportunities. Don't be afraid to approach the students or the teachers. Everybody is really flexible and they're super, like they want to be your friend. I haven't met a person here who doesn't want to be my friend and that's great. And I haven't met a person here that I don't want to be friends with. And that's also great. So, and if you're provided with something, then don't like take that for granted and just skip over and be like, I'll get that opportunity again. Just take it and you'll have so much fun. If you want to join a club, join the club. If you want to join a sports team, join that sports team. If you want to go out and make a club or go ahead and start a sports team, then you go out and make a club and start a sports team. Just take all those opportunities and make those connections and just be yourself because that's what YWA values.